Good morning and welcome to this week's Your Soul Matters broadcast. The Your Soul Matters broadcast is a ministry of the House of Deliverance Church. I'm your host, Tatiana Cody. It is my hope that this broadcast and the message you're about to hear will inspire you, encourage you, and convince you that your soul truly does matter. It matters to God. It matters to us here at the House of Deliverance Church, and we hope that it matters to you. Let's welcome our speaker who will be delivering today's word, Minister Rita West. Thank you, Tatiana. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. And welcome to Your Soul Matters. Today, I will be reading from Ezekiel chapter 36, verses 24 through 27 from the New International Version, and it reads, For I will, meaning Jesus, will take you out of the nations. I will gather you from all the countries and bring you back into your own land. I will sprinkle clean water on you and you will be clean. I will cleanse you from all your impurities and from all your idols. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit in you and move you to follow my decrees and be careful to keep my laws. The title of this sermon is Warning, 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 Take Heed to This Message. Right. Warning, 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 Take Heed to This Message. In the book of Ezekiel, Ezekiel was sent to warn the people that destruction was coming and to take heed of the warning and for them to turn from their wicked ways, but they didn't listen. Sounds familiar? Amen. That is where we are today. Jesus has sent people to warn us, yes. to get our attention, yes. to change, to allow God in, or to give your life to Jesus. They have told us to repent yes. and to turn from our wicked ways, right. but just like the Israelites, we aren't listening, yes. we ignore it, we aren't taking heed, we aren't budging from our sinful, lustful, wicked, and dead lives. And if we don't listen, destruction is soon to follow. In this scripture, Jesus tells us that, this, that he's willing to cleanse us, change us, purify us, make us whole, and to make us new. He's also willing and able to give you a new heart and a new spirit, his spirit. I don't know about you, but I need a new heart. And I need a new spirit. Amen. Today, I want to focus on verse 26. And it says, I will give you a heart and put a new spirit in you. And I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. When I read this, I thought, wow, Jesus want our stony heart? Think about that. Jesus. He wants our stony heart. This stone represents us without Jesus, lost. When we don't take heed to the warnings, we are cold, empty, lifeless, ugly, hard, heavy, stubborn, rebellious, rude, we're mean, dark, unusable, separated, unyielding, resistant, rough, perishable, selfish, joyless, self-willed, and disobedient. This is us without Jesus. Don't stay like this. When you have a stony heart, you walk around spiritually dead. When you have a stony heart, God is blocked from doing what he wants to do with you and for you. When you have a stony heart, you hold on to the things that God wants to separate you from. When you hold on to a stony heart, it is hard to hear from God. When you have a stony heart, you cut yourself off from God. When you keep a stony heart, you separate yourself from your father. When you keep a stony heart, you are blocked from God's favor, blessings, covering, and protection. To allow this stony heart to stay is fatal. To 
to allow this stony heart to remain will bring destruction. But I have great news for you. All right, now. God is willing to take this heart in exchange for a new one made of flesh. Amen. Right? Amen. What an awesome and loving God that is that's willing to take from us the things that brings us death and gives us something that brings life. Yes. Yes. Throughout the scripture, Jesus says, I will. I will. I will. Yes. To remind us that only he can do all these things. Yes. We cannot do it, so stop trying. This heart is our heart of flesh that Jesus promises to give to us. This is the heart of life that Jesus wants to give us. This heart is a heart that is spiritually thriving. Right. This heart is a heart that is spiritually alive. A heart that is God will. A heart that is God driven. A heart that is usable, compassionate, loving, flexible, yielding, understanding, responsive, forgiving, powerful. A heart that is awake, soft, free, tender, obedient, a heart that is transformed. Yes, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Do you want this heart? Mm -hmm. yes. I know I do. Mm -hmm. I want this heart, right? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. This is a heart that God wants to replace your stony heart with because he loves you just that much. He's asking you to take heed, to listen while there is still time because he doesn't want you to die. God wants to restore you and bring you back into a right relationship with him, just like he did with the Israelites in Ezekiel. He wants to perform a life-changing surgery on you. Not like the world surgery that changes the outside while the inside is still broken and messed up. Right. Jesus' surgery changes you from the inside out and leaves you whole and beautiful. He wants to take out the bad and put in the good. Yes. He wants to take out the old and put in the new. Yes. Let Jesus do this for you. Yes. Yes. When I think about a stony heart, I think about a house that has been burned down. No one looks at that house. No one wants it because to them, it is filthy, ugly, scary, damaged, dark, dead undesirable, burned, uninhabitable, unusable, and it requires too much work. Right. But when Jesus sees that burnt house, he sees what it could be uh -huh. yeah. and the potential that this burnt house has. Yes. And he says, I'll take it. Yes. I want this house. Yes. 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 Because I can restore it. Yes. I can rebuild it. Yes. I can make it new. Yes. And I can make it whole yes. again. Yes. Excuse me. Glory. In Ezekiel chapter 11, verses 19 through 20, Jesus repeats this again and he says I will give you a new heart yeah, yes, so he says it over and over again I will give them one heart and I will put a new spirit within you and I will take the stony heart out of their flesh and will give them a heart of flesh that they may walk in my statues and keep my ordinances and do them and they shall be my people, yes. and I will be their God. Yes. God wants you. He wants to change you. Yes. He wants to take this heart that separates him from you or you from him. He don't want you to walk around with it. Amen. He wants to give you a new heart, but you have to allow him to do so. Mm -hmm. So don't make Jesus wait yes. another second, another minute, All right. another hour, yes. another day, Another week, yeah. another month, or another year. The time is now. Yes. Say yes now. Yes. Become whole now. Become yes. new now. Become free now. Yes. He is waiting yes. 
on you. You are not waiting on Jesus. He's already promised. This is what I will do. Yes, Lord. I will do this. Come to me. I will do this for yes. you. Yes. But you have to come to God. Amen. Ask Jesus. He'll listen. Ask him to give you a heart of repentance. Ask Jesus to help you believe that this heart is for you. Jesus is willing and able to give this amazing gift to anyone and everyone who will accept it. Will that be you on today? Amen. In closing, I want to ask you this. Why would you settle when Jesus is offering you better? Why hold on to the old when newness awaits you? And why choose death when life is available? Amen. Please take heed to the warning. you just heard was a blessing to your soul as the minister said take heed to the warning yes. allow jesus to transform you he wants to do a heart transplant in you he wants to take that stony heart and make it a heart of flesh if you are looking to learn more about god come visit us information can be found at the website at hodchurch.com if you would like someone to talk to or would like to receive prayer please call 1-800-741-SOUL or 1-800-741-7685 we look forward to seeing you next week for another inspired message and messenger until then don't forget your soul matters amen, amen. amen.